Do you want to be able to do this to every enemy in the entire game? Absolutely destroy them without taking any damage, automatically dodge every attack in the entire game. Yes, every single attack, no matter what it is, no matter if it's a dragon's breath of fire, if it's a, a sword, if it's anything, you can dodge it. Grapples, whatever it is. Um, this thing is pretty damn OP and with the build that I'm creating and I'll be uploading very soon, this thing just makes you absolutely un un unstoppable, literally unstoppable. So before I show you exactly where to find this item, and it's pretty simple, what you do when you use it is you use the formless feint and your character will do that animation. Once you are being attacked by any enemy, you don't actually have to press a single button to dodge any attack. So right now, he will automatically dodge every attack. So for example, this guy will try to attack me, they will all try to attack me, and I will take no damage. I don't have to press anything. So let me show you exactly on where to find this item. It's pretty damn good. So in order to get Blades of the Pyre and the Formless Faint, it's actually in the same quest in the same area. So what you want to do is be on this quest line here called the Nameless Faint, uh, the Nameless Village. Now, in order to get this one is continue the storyline with Brant, that one in Venworth. That is the main quest line. You will be able to get this, just continue with it and you will get this quest. Now, um, once you actually do get the quest, it's going to tell you to find the Nameless Village. And it's right here next to uh, Venworth anyway. Um, so just take the route. You'll be able to find it. it's going to be located on the map anyway for you. And at the very top, you're going to find the manor. Okay. All the way at the top is the manor. The game will show you exactly where this is. It is the main point of the quest. And then you're going to talk to this guy. He will give you, after talking to him, the scroll to find the or to learn the um, Blades of the Pyre. Now, how do you get the Formless Faint? Well, come out of the... Um, the building and go right over here there should be like a little hole um with a ladder going down it right over there go down it now down here is basically going to be like this trial that you have to do it shouldn't be too difficult at all and uh, basically just do it i'll be doing it right now Now, once completed with the trial, you will meet this guy right here named Srail. He will give you the scroll to learn the formless faints. There we go. Once you have gotten this scroll, you can go into your items and find that scroll, just like I will do right now, and go ahead and use it, and then you will get the Formless Faint. So in order to actually equip and start using the Formless Faint, all you have to do is go to any of these things right here called the Venworth, or sorry, the Vocation Guild, any Vocation Guild in any town, and you can equip the um, the skill called the, uh, the Formless Faint, and that is what this one is. So all you have to do is uh, equip it to any of your buttons, use it, and that's it. It will last as long as you have stamina available. As you can see in the bottom, it does use stamina. But um, stamina isn't really a, your biggest problem here because you can easily get stamina very, very quickly by using consumables. For example, if I still actually do have one. Um, this one right here, the Penica, actually restores stamina and health back to 100%. So you can use that and continue your rampage or you, what you can do is press it once again and cancel it and your stamina will go up very, very quickly. It takes about you know five seconds or so and then you can go ahead and use your, uh, your formless feints like that. And then you can also use your blades and you can use every, uh, you can use anything. It's absolutely ridiculous what you can do with this and what's great about it, you don't take any damage from anything it's absolutely broken uh, with what you could do with this uh, character right here the, the thief um yeah so go make sure pick it up if you are going to be playing a thief it's a must needed perk or skill to use if you're going to be playing this character um it's a no-brainer probably the most broken perk in the entire game and anyway, that is pretty much it for this video hopefully this did bring you guys something that you probably never seen before in the game and uh, something new for your uh, your thief builds 
um yeah go ahead and try it out let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it and i'll have the build out very soon and uh you guys are gonna really, really enjoy that one so thank you so much for watching